Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for another episode of my EU4 Mune Taxes survey campaign where I'm currently fighting Hungary. I'm going to, I think, just take this bit of territory, Uzoria. Kind of makes my borders look a bit better. And then I'm going to take War Reps Gold and humiliate them. Humiliate them for all the times they sided with the Ottomans. And they only have... They have a 3,000 man army, so... I wonder, actually... I think on second thought, I'll take these two pieces of territory as well. I'll keep this one. It has an estuary. And then I'll give this to Crimea. And then they'll have a contiguous border. And same with me, I'll touch Crimea. And I'll extend from all the way over here to all the way over there. And that doesn't add... It adds to aggressive expansion. Taking those two territories is too much though, so I'm going to take those three territories, War Reps, Gold, and Humiliate them. And then I will fight Aretna. My fourth idea, I think... I think Diplomatic. Because I like the relation slots. Extra diplomat, it's always good. Lowered impact on stab from diplomatic actions, province war score cost, improved relations, monthly war exhaustion, unjustified demands. I like that stuff. So I'm going to take that one. My tech, though, is uh, three behind, so I think I'll hold off on taking any of the actual ideas. I'll hold off on this one because my admin tech is 16 so uh, I'm only 6 behind on admin. Only, right? I gotta get that up. Milan announced Naples as her rival. Alright, I took that piece of territory, so I'm going to go over here and wipe out the entire Hungarian army. Well, it's not the entire Hungarian army anymore, they built a troop. I'm going to take Pest. Once Pest falls, I can pretty much conquer... There we go. I can conquer this stuff wholesale. Grab all this stuff without a fort first. They can go over there and take Ostmark. I'm gonna ship these guys over there just because it'll be quicker. I also got this fort built. I lost Silesia's troops, but it should be fine. Let's 
split those guys up. So in the three K stack over here, one K stack over there. You go up there. You go right there, you go right there. Fort level one. I'm going to tell them to siege. Because Hungary stands no military threat. Alright. I'll probably take most of their territory. Kill as many Hungarians as possible. Wreak as much havoc. I think they deserve it, don't you? Make a state, Hut of Vingar. 121 pop and then Marmara. So what's my max? 9, 11. Alright. Make that one an estate. And that one as well. Take tech 17. That actually opens up an additional state. I'll leave that one. Just put it, leave it in my pocket. I wonder what Hungarian population is. They have 574 people. Let's see how many we murder.
All right, one that siege. Transfer this over to Crimea. Let's go to speed five. I do have three stability points, so... Let's revoke a privilege. I actually like this pri uh, this privilege. Token honorary noble totals. Minus 8% tax rate, plus 7.5% plus provincial income tax by this estate. I actually like that, because you're taking... The money out of the states and you're bringing it to the burgers and then I'm taking it from the burgers so I think that's fine since I'm taking it directly from the burgers and the more money the burgers have the more money I can take Can I revoke something from the... no. I'd rather take it from the Greater Nobles, because I can't get any money from the Greater Nobles. I'm gonna do Cease Issuing new, Numerous New High Courtier Titles. Ah. That is a mouthful. That will hopefully prevent lesser nobles from converting. Granted, there's only 7% lesser nobles in the country. Alright, and they just took it, so... When I can, I will revoke privileges from the burgers as well. I think what I'll do is I'll revoke something from the burgers and then just give them something back. And then I'll use that 20% for more income, more ducats. Still working on this province. So I, I, I got this siege down before I got this one. Probably because that's highlands 95% and this is farmlands 64%. There we go. I could also break off the Hungarian-Polish alliance. Actually, I think that broke off anyway. It did. So I can't actually do that. Well, that's good. They're gonna get it back anyway, but... Maybe one of them will rival the other one? Poland might rival Hungary, but Hungary, I think they're up to their limits.
Hungary's lost 11 pop? Not that much, really. As soon as I take this province, I think I'll peace out so I can fight Aretna. What's going on with Siena? Nothing, they just want military access through Pimbino. Nah. All right, they would accept. They can revoke their core. Cores. Alright, so they revoke their two cores, give me Ducats, War Reps, I humiliate them, I get Uzoria, Satatia, Alba, and Crimea gets Kursan. They won't actually accept it. Maybe if I go down here and wipe them out. to give me the slip. I'm actually 8th rank in score. It's interesting. God, they actually gave me the slip. I wasn't paying attention. Those slippery Hungarians can't can't trust them. Best thing to do is just kill them. If you're Hungarian, sorry, but you're the uh, punching bag in this campaign. I don't actually hate Hungary. In this campaign, I do though. So. All right, they will accept. Three pieces of territory, humiliation, revoke cores, ducats, war reps. They gave me a core for free. Save the Serbian people in Danji Kraji. Alright, now I got. I have to uh, get ready for the war with Retina. It'd be great if I could get some manpower.
What I guess what I could do is demote greater nobles. Wow. They lose 10, which isn't that bad, but the lesser nobles lose 40. Um. All right, I would do this, because 159 mil power is basically nothing, but it's still that lesser noble. It just racks the lesser nobles. I think I'll hold off. Actually, you know what? I could give the lesser nobles a privilege, and that would recover half of it. It would take five years to give them a privilege, though. All right, so I will hold off for now. I'll revoke something from the burgers. Let's just do right of commerce. And nothing happened. Okay, so I think I did either something's bugged or I'm just really lucky because I'm pretty sure I revoked something from every estate and I didn't lose one stability point. So I guess the gods shine down on Serbia. Convert Ismid. Make Uzoria a core. Take the next Diplotech, and uh, <clears throat> in the next part, I am going to. Attack a retina. Georgia will join. I'll do a show of superiority war. Call in Georgia. They're racked with Armenian separatists, but... They'll get rid of them. Retina has... 13,000 men, so this should actually be a interesting war. So, I will finish this part here and pick it up in the next part. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.